Okay, here's my capacitors. No box was wondering how they were hooked up. They're hooked up in parallel, and what it is is all the bottom leads are hooked up right here. All the leads out the top, you know, which is inserted inside the water, are hooked up together. This goes straight to the coil. Both leads. Don't really matter which one. They go directly to the neon sign transformer. It's a multiple spark gap. And this drastically reduces the noise. I mean, the noise has went down at least in half and what it does is <clears throat> if your spark gap let's say is an inch over that inch your capacitors will start popping pop 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 because they're trying to you know it's trying to go through here and discharge instead of through here and discharge so all I did was take that inch margin and divide it up. So it's nothing special, it's just you divide however your length is of your arc. You know, because the maximum length of your spark gap oscillation, the maximum spark at your top load. You know, the smaller gap. The sm My top load's nothing more than a doorknob. I found that, <clears throat> or I didn't find, I read, and Mezcal told me that the smoother the surface, it builds a charge, and that's why you get the, you know, the purple fingers stuck up.